It's challenging, it's diverse, it's exciting, uh, but it's also stressful. We're a community, and if we're not working together to address these safety issues, we're not gonna make a difference. It becomes cultural that way. It's like, there's no question, you're wearing a safety coat. When safety fails, the impact is almost always negative and painful. But the role of the environmental and occupational health profession is to turn these events into a catalyst for improved safety and change. This is something that the University of Utah has had to learn firsthand, incorporating safety in all aspects of academic life from the ground up. On the campus of the U, a 2019 state audit was a painful and pivotal moment. They concluded that health and safety was broken at the University of Utah. Fixing it required substantial actions and decisions surrounding lab safety, including the temporary shutdown of some research. The audit was a punch in the gut. The existing safety systems had failed the university, and everyone at the institution would have to help to make the required changes. So it gave us a moment to, from the ground up, design the kind of culture that we wanted around safety. And more importantly, we put the resources behind it to improve our culture of safety. Where we started to work directly with EHS. Building a culture of safety needed support and resources critical across every area. We've had administrative support that have allowed us to grow, and we now have a team of a, approximately 50 safety professionals. They are these industrial hygienists and occupational safety specialists. EHS professionals working together with researchers to help keep the community safe. To ensure that safety is built into every part of what we do. It's built into the, the planning and the execution of everybody's daily jobs. It's a consistent message. Everyone is a stakeholder when it comes to safety. And if you're going to be able to keep leading the research enterprise, you have to realize that good science is safe science. They want that. It turns out if you work in a laboratory, you want to be in a safe space. With hundreds of labs across campus, safety committees, more than two dozen of them, reinforce EHS efforts. And these safety committees are a force multiplier. They're additional boots on the ground. I think one of the reasons that committees work so well is because you have a range of um, stakeholders involved. You know, you have your top leaders, you have people who are in the trenches, you have investigators. Um, and then, you know, when, when diverse stakeholders are put together, they come together with uh, uh, ideas that you wouldn't have thought about on your own. Involving all stakeholders and encouraging a safety environment by looking at lessons learned and focusing on immediate corrective actions when incidents or deficiencies are discovered by widely sharing the information. We're hoping to create a culture where people can see, okay, they made a mistake. Nobody was punished for it. And in fact, we tried to learn from that. I, I would call that grassroots almost, but the students had to buy into that and they really have. In academic terms, a scientific, investigative, and measurable approach to safety culture. Culture is a, it's values, and it's those values transferred or are translated into behaviors. Now we have the right infrastructure in place to respond quickly, efficiently, and comprehensively to any safety challenges that come up. The new standards and safety protocols were tested by a new threat as they were being implemented. And then COVID hit. Even more levels of safety were necessary. That's a pretty big order, and I, I felt the pressure of that. The close working relationship between EHS, researchers, and employees paid off. For example, our safety committees. We were able to lean on our safety committees to help us determine how our COVID precautions and requirements could be implemented at the local level. Message boards with PPE requirements accompanied lab safety reminders. It's not just lab safety, it's life safety. So collaboration is the one that I, I point to all the time. I love collaborating. We are now not only a leading research institute, we are a leading safety institution. Because we have integrated safety into the research enterprise, safety is part of research and it's part of um, scientific discovery. In 2021, we seem to have turned the corner where the reality has caught up 
with, with the words, with the story we're telling. A case study in achieving results by combining industry best practices with EHS and college collaboration, all backed by real financial support. But it's really an investment, and that's what you have to focus on. It may cost something up front, but the, the savings, the return on that investment, whether it's risk mitigation or doing better science, uh, it becomes a very clear value proposition pretty quickly. If we do our job well enough, accidents do not need to happen.